Hey guys, this channel is really not about product reviews, unless it's something that I really like or something I've bought and I want to share. Um, it, it's really just what this channel is about. And occasionally I see something and man, do I want it. My friend Tim, G5TM, recently got a really cool coil and he's been using it. He's got a couple good videos out on it. I'll put links below. And he's been using it portable and I love the fact that he can change bands so quick and easy with it. So I contacted Tim. I'm like, hey, buddy, old pal, I want one of those. Tell me about it. And then he put, uh, he actually contacted Marty, VK4KC, and then Marty contacted me, and I got one. It's a Mad Dog Coil from Australia. Man, really cool. I'm really excited to use it. Um, Marty sent me one. I got the 40. Uh, this is the uh, Mad Dog Coil's 40, and uh, this one a little shorter than the one Tim has. I believe he has the 80. Cool thing I like about this, it comes with one collar, and then you can slide it, adjust it, tighten it down for a band. I got two extra collars. So my thought pattern here was what I'm going to do and kind of what Tim does with his is I'm going to do 40 meters, 20 meters, 15 meters. So I'll be able to set it up, tune it, get it all set up once. And then I'll be able to just jump band to band and have some fun with this thing. Um, really great set of instructions uh, come with this. I got them from Marty. Marty uses them on uh, tripods. Um, you can mag mount, which is what I'm going to do today. I'm up on the top of a, a parking garage here. A little bit of urban portable. I'm going to use it there, but um, a lot of different ways you can use these coils. I love coils. I've got quite a few. Um, I got the one I got. This is, uh, they come in both um, 3H24 uh, uh, Imperial or US or M10. I got the M10 and I got some... Uh, conversion uh, some uh, adapters but the reason i got m10 is i got this certain uh antenna that i got a while back that i'm not real happy with it's got a lot of parts to it i thought why don't i get this in m10 and then i could take some of those parts experiment with some other configurations with this and have some fun with it so i've got some adapters i'm going to do that another cool thing about this one if you're using it on a tripod compared to some other ones it's got a, a plug for a ground so um you know this this you to change bands you go from one uh, pin up and down to the other, but also you can do this with the RF ground or the uh, you know, the ground plane or whatever. So that's kind of a neat feature as well. It's BNC. Um, I got an adapter for that also, but um, really cool, really cool. Uh, Marty VK4 uh, KC. He's been building these for a while. As a matter of fact, um, he's a YouTuber as well. I'll put a link to his channel and to his uh, site that sell these. You can build one of these yourself for years. He's been showing people how to build them. And I think he's gotten so many requests. Hey, will you build me one? That he went ahead and started the company um, and started building these. So um, I like that. I like I like uh, innovations and something that's built by a ham for other hams. So I'm really excited about using this. I'll give you an honest opinion of it when I'm done. I'm going to put it up here and uh, and see what kind of contacts we could make. I'll show you the configuration. And I'll, at the end of this, I'll let you know what I think of it for sure. But um, yeah, let's get this thing together. I'm excited about it. Mad Dog Coils 40. Let's go. Norfolk, Virginia, across from here at the top of the parking garage. Okay, here it is on the mag mount. Um, there's the uh, the coil, the Mad Dog coil. I don't have it tuned yet. We're going to do that. I'm using the uh, Buddy Pole long telescopic whip. This is a nine and a half foot telescopic whip from Buddy Pole. I've used it before. I kind of like it a little more than the uh, military collapsible man, man packs because it's just a little sturdier, as you can see. A little bit of breeze out here and uh just, yeah, it's just a good i've used it before it's another video um but it's great great uh, telescopic whip nine and a half feet long so anyway there it is um one cool thing using the mag mount the way i'm doing it is i've got an extra wire so this is basically going to act as a counterpoise the normal uh coax for the uh for the mag mount and then what i did i'm running 50 feet of coax down on top of the uh, top of the garage here, which I know there's a lot of rebar under there, which may help me greatly uh, with the uh, with the ground plane there. So uh, I've got uh, I'm gonna be using the uh, uh, FT the Yesu FT891 in there. So I'll have a choke at the uh, radio, but there it is. There's the antenna up nine and a half feet up, and 
there it is. There's the uh, Mad Dog coil. I'm gonna, let me get this thing tuned and we'll see what we can do. Okay, it's tuned up and ready to go. It took me uh, about 20, 25 minutes, really. A lot of work, honestly, but uh, now it's set forever. As you can see, these are the adapters I was talking about at the top and bottom, my uh, M10 to 3 8 adapters there on it. But um, there it is. I did a little shift on the fly. Instead of, I said I was gonna do 15, 20, and 40. I decided to go 15, 17, and 20 because I, I just feel like this time of day, this would be the uh, ideal for me and I can always change it later. All right, let's get in here and fire up the radio and see how it works. And here inside the uh, Jeep, is the uh as i said yesu ft891 and got a uh 20 amp hour lifepo battery driving it and uh here we go kilo four oscar golf oscar hello world thank you so much for the call from virginia uh you five by seven five by seven in mexico city our name is ralph romeo alpha lima papa hotel how copy kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar X ray Echo One Radio Kilo. Over. Yes, Ralph, you are excellent. 5-9 signal, probably the strongest I've heard on the band today. You sound wonderful here into Virginia. And as you see, the name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm portable, portable, I actually mobile uh, in a Jeep in a parking garage with just a coil and a, a, a small telescopic whip uh, running 100 watts with my Yesu FT891. Thanks for coming back. Okay, you do, are you in motion now? Are you in motion? Uh, negative. No, I'm sitting parked. I'm static uh, parked on top of a uh, parking garage at about uh, five levels up on the top of a parking garage. Roger, Roger. You're doing great. You're doing excellent. Uh, well, uh, I'm running 1500 watts with a 7 element Yagi. <laughs> but you sound excellent here. No. Okay, you're mobile. Uh, so. All right, that was cool. 15, some work, some DX, some great DX, actually. Um, 17, I went to 17. Like I said, it tuned. It's it's perfect, um, but not hearing a whole lot on 17. So uh, I don't know what's going on with that band, but I want to play now. I want to do something a little different. I want to get on 20 now. QRP, let's see if we can make a contact with this hooked up to my little uh, Zygu X5105. Let's see if we can QRP 20 meters with this thing and make a contact. QSL, QSL, you are 5'5 five, five into Virginia. I'm 5 watts QRP portable. QSL, hey, thanks for activating and thanks for taking the call. 73, my friend. Wow, I love that thing. It's awesome. That was fun. Um, 15, man, DX on 15 was amazing. 17 was somewhat quiet. There was a rag chew going on in the middle of 17. I didn't want to break into that. I probably should have called CQ. I just don't have a lot of time to sit here. Uh, went to 20 and, and looked around when I had the uh, FT891, and it was just full of uh, full of U.S. POTA, which 20 kind of is in the afternoons. And I said, you know what? I haven't done a 5-watt QRP uh thing in a while let's try qrp and it was cool um overall hey i like that i like the fact that i could just plug and play different bands it did it took me about 25 maybe 30 minutes to set the entire thing up um if i use this same configuration all the time now i won't have to do it again and that's why i like that coil i have other coils i i, I love my uh, other coils as well and uh and nothing against those and I, i've said this before between my Slidewinder DX and my Wolf River coil. I hate I hate uh, comparing them because my Wolf River coil is an 80 meter coil. My Slidewinder is 40. This one now is my multi-band coil. I love it. I can just 
go and, and have a good time with it. I recommend it. I really do. I mean, I'm not just saying that because I got one. Um, it, it was cool. And if you want uh, something where you, you don't need to worry about using an ATU, you want a resident antenna, set that thing up once and you're good to go. It was pretty cool. Um, I got it in nine days. He shipped it, shipping came pretty quick from Australia. One, if you look on on the website, uh, the prices are in the Australian dollar. I looked at um, the conversion rate right now. Um, Sixty six U.S. dollars equals one hundred Australian dollars as we speak today, as I'm filming this. So something to keep in mind if you want one. But um, overall, that was really cool. I want to get out now. I'm going to uh, take uh, apart my uh, the the JPC twelve antenna. I have I have all that uh, M ten metric stuff. And try this a little different configuration, maybe in the center of an, you know, uh, of the aerial, and play around with it. I've got something now that's uh, that's really cool and that is metric. It's M10, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Anyway, that was a blast. You don't see a whole lot of me just reviewing stuff. That's my, that's the way I review something. I get out and use it. Um, I like it, and I can't wait to play with it some more. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends.